I just literally had the most insane conversation with our accountants. So basically, like, as a brand, we've pretty much been doubling in size every year. And then with that growth in mind, we then placed much bigger orders with our suppliers, but we did that like six months ago, way before any of this whole scene, this whole pandemic scene. And it's just like, now obviously we got like two massive orders on the way and bang, overnight the whole world's changed and this, this huge pandemic and this whole scene. And oh, I just literally, I, I don't know where that leads. Like, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's literally looking like we're not going to make it through and this is insane like this happened so suddenly like i can't do this right now guys sorry i was texting one of the team riders last night and i just don't think he understood the severity of the situation just just kind of made me feel even worse for him that like, the thought of like actually having to tell the riders that this could be the end i don't know it's just like made me feel even worse. So a wise friend once told me, if you wake up in the morning and you're struggling to find the motivation to start your workout, one thing that all of you guys can try, and I just did it, is you always find time to clean your teeth. You've definitely got two minutes in your day to wake up in the morning and brush your teeth. So before you brush your teeth, just do I don't know, five press-ups, 10 press-ups, 20 press-ups, however many you can do, even if it's just five, it only takes you a few seconds. And then the way you feel when you're brushing your teeth in the mirror after that is supremely different. Your anxiety's gone. You feel, I don't know, you feel powerful. You feel much better. And uh, I genuinely recommend trying that. So next time you clean your teeth, bust a few press-ups. doesn't matter how many, just even if it's one or two, just do them and look at yourself in the mirror and then you decide what you want to do that day and how you want to approach your day. Also, that fired me up to hit this thing. I just got sent this incredible Watt bike from Red Bull. I've been struggling to find the motivation to get up in the morning and get on this, but I found that doing the press-ups before cleaning my teeth fired me up and I just did a nice little workout on that and now I'm ready for the day. All right guys, just had a shower, feel much better. It's actually crazy how a few press-ups and a little workout makes you feel, it's like charges you up, makes you feel 10 times better. Anyway, so got emails coming in with, for orders and half of the staff at the warehouse aren't in because they're all, they're all off because of the virus. So I'm gonna go up there and help pack a few orders and send the bikes out because they've still got to go out. Kind of even makes me feel a little bit weird and sad being in here it's so quiet like this place is usually all the staff are usually here and it's just it's completely different but yeah we've got to get the bikes out today and then i'm gonna get out of here guys on a more positive note i thought i'd share with you guys the story of how i learned bar spins and maybe you guys can try this at home basically years ago back in the 90s when i was a little whippersnapper and i had curtains basically i broke my collarbone um riding i couldn't ride for weeks and this was a massive blow to me as i was a young kid and all i cared about in the whole world was riding so basically i did this for weeks on end you basically sit like this and just do bar spins before I got injured, I literally couldn't do bar spins at all. And I spent the whole time while I was injured sitting on my back wheel, spinning the bars over and over and over again, like hundreds upon hundreds of times. 
and it like trained my head mentally and the muscle memory in my body to like learn how to throw the bars and catch them and then when my collarbone healed and I finally got riding again I literally did bar spin so easily and never had a problem with them since then so it's a good way to learn tricks even though you're not actually riding you can still practice certain things and um, perfect them You know what guys, today I really realized something and that is the power of exercise when you've got high anxiety, it really does help sort your mental state out. And I think it's really important at a time like this. There's lots of people out there doing lots of exercise programs and stuff like that that you can get involved in to help with your anxiety. Because I know a lot of us are going through this right now. It's, it's a tough time for everyone. Uh, fortunately for, for me, we still able to send out bikes and we're still able to operate on a small level. Lots of the staff here aren't here, but we're able to come in and keep our distance and send out bikes to customers. But um, today I really realized that whatever happens during all this, once this is all finished and over with, we're not just going to stop. We, we can't give up. We're not going to just give up on this. This is, this is something we put our absolute life and soul into like i've got riders kieran matty tom ollie all those guys have really have put so much into this i'm not just going to give up on them i have to keep on fighting like i jumped off a bridge for this company i'm not just going to stop i'm not going to go down without a fight that would be insane and this is going to be a massive test for us this is going to be a test for a lot of people this is a huge moment in all of our lives it's going to test us to the very limit lots of people lots of businesses but you know what the best thing that we can do to honor the victims of this terrible disease is to after this is all said and done we put our boots back on get back at it and rebuild because we cannot walk away. We cannot give up. This is so important. These are crazy times we're all living through. I hope you guys are getting through it okay. And I hope your anxiety is not too bad. Please try to do some exercise if it is because it really does help. And all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Sorry about the negativity at the beginning. These are stressful times for all of us, I know. I will see you next Friday. Stay safe and peace out.